Hey Bucket Pond family, welcome back to the channel. This is Bucket Ponds and my name is Terry. Today we are doing an update on our sealed polydarium ecosphere. This was built back in October 28th of 2022. And here's a quick look at the setup just to give you a refresher. Uh, we built this with the intention of raising and controlling a sealed ecosystem in a old pickle jar. Now the purpose of this video is to uh, test out some of my new camera equipment, my new microphone, and I'm still adjusting to some of the new uh, items that we have. Uh, so this is going to be a bit of a short video, uh, but the tank is doing really well, and I wanted to show you an update. I will, of course, include a link to this setup video here, which I've sped up a bit, just to give you a good idea of how it was built, in case you didn't see the setup video. But there we go, looked pretty good. And now we uh, have arrived at today. This is one month later. And here's the tank. It looks pretty decent. I'm pretty happy with it. And I've had it sitting here on my windowsill with a combination of artificial and natural light. Uh, the main purpose of this ecosphere was to build a polydarium, which is part land and part water. And uh, of course, we included some plants, uh, namely some moss on the land side. Uh, some duckweed in the water, some algae for filtration, and some various animals, live cultures like blighter snails, uh, planaria, uh, detritus worms, paramecium, things like that. But there's the moss. It's starting to grow really well very quickly in here, surprisingly. And yeah, there's our rock side, our island side. It looks pretty good. We built this ecosphere using uh, different ideas that we've uh, gained from our previous works. Uh, experience that we've learned from building other sealed ecosphere aquariums and here it has uh, paid off yes this tank looks really good i'm very happy with it the duckweed is thriving the moss is growing everywhere and uh, i'm proud to say that this is a nice sealed polydarium i'm enjoying this tank a great deal now i had hoped to include some uh land dwelling creatures in here and i can't say for sure if we succeeded or not so we might have to start raising some uh, springtails and maybe some isopods separately so we can include them in our future projects. But here we go. This looks pretty good. And taking a look down near the substrate layer, we have live bladder snails. That's right. They have survived in here and they are doing pretty well. Uh, keep in mind this is a sealed jar, meaning that no air uh, no water, nothing comes in from the outside world. These guys are breathing oxygen that's being produced in the tank by the plants. Um, they're exhaling CO2, which is being absorbed by the plants, and it's a beautiful system. It's cooperating, and it's doing quite well. And uh, <laughs> uh, as you can see from this substrate, it's a bit blurry. I'm still adjusting to the new camera equipment, uh, but we have a ton of copepods and ostracods in here that are scooting all around, and they're very active which is a good sign. There's a lot of activity in this jar. And the moss itself is doing really well. It's growing some like hair-like appendages here. Uh, and it's actually growing in a sort of a stand-up method. It's like reaching up, uh, which is unusual as this moss tends to grow along the ground on rocks and things. I expected to see it grow like this underwater, but growing like this on the land portion of the aquarium is pretty interesting. And I did hope to find some springtails or something that we might have captured, uh, but I didn't see any. So in our future projects, I will most likely have to raise some springtails separately, which is really easy to do. And we'll include them intentionally to get a, a nice uh, a terrestrial uh, life form going in our next polydarium. But as it is, this sealed jar is doing really well and it looks pretty cool. And upon inspection of the moss, I found a few small plants, which must, uh, must have hitchhiked into the tank. Uh, they're growing on the land portion, and you can see them right there in the middle. Some small leafy plants. I have no idea what type of plant it may be, but it came in uh, along with the moss, and that's pretty cool. It might grow in here. It might do really well. We might see this thing get tall and start to spread, which I can be very hopeful uh, that it will do so. And once it gets access to the aquatic portion, it should start to grow pretty good. Or grow pretty well, I should say. Uh, but yeah, this video is a little shorter than my other videos, mainly because I am testing out some new camera equipment 
You may notice a difference in the audio quality as well. And uh, I'm very hopeful that this sign uh, signifies a, uh, a good future for Bucket Ponds for the channel here. I've been doing things with some very low budget equipment this whole time. And that's okay, you know, I still had a lot of fun with it. We've made some decent tanks, and we've had a lot of fun, and we built some pretty cool things. But I want to establish a more professional level and get us on a, uh, a higher tier. I want to see the channel grow even further, you know. Uh, I've been relying on the aquariums, the sealed ecospheres, the different projects. I've been relying on them to speak for themselves. And that's worked somewhat. But uh, yeah, I want to do better. I want us to grow and thrive just like our plants are here. So this is our sealed polydarium. It's 50-50 uh, land and water. It's a completely sealed project. No air, no water comes in or out. No food goes in there. Uh, all of the creatures inside are relying on one another. All the plants and animals are working together to form a, a model of life on Earth. And I think we did a pretty good job here. I may have included uh, probably too much, uh, too many lava rocks here in retrospect. The water level could be a little higher. And uh, I could see some things that we can improve. But we have quite a few bladder snails, ostracods, copepods, everything in here doing really well. And there's the lid. Uh, it is a sealed pickle jar. I just want to show you the lid is still on it. Still looks pretty good. And uh, for the future of this aquarium, I'm pretty hopeful. This has only been running for about four weeks now. But I needed to uh, test out my new equipment. And this tank just looks so good. I'm very proud of it. Um, we are still adjusting to some of the new camera equipment, though. You might see some uh, changing uh, <laughs> uh, light levels and things in the video here. Uh, but I'll have a longer video for you guys soon. I know I'm a little behind. Uh, I had some issues with the account. I had to uh, deal with some things. For our next video, I'll probably be building another 2-liter nursery, uh, this time for raising some of our red ram's horn snails. And I have a good idea for what plants I want to include in that one. Namely, a water taro or something that gets a little bigger than our day flower. It shouldn't be disappointed. It's going to be pretty cool. But I'll have that up within a week or so. And yeah, we're going to get back to building tanks and playing with our new camera. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun building this tank. And I will, of course, include links to the setup and to our other polydariums and things in the description. But this is Bucket Ponds. My name is Terry. There's tons of content on my channel. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoy this stuff. I will see you next time. Have a great day.